we go again. I demand more! They loved me. Never mind. Hi. We are the three caballeros. We should be in the middle? Okay. We are the three caballeros of 360. Hola, hello. We have Mick Ty, we have Ben Claremont, and Al Cadulo brought to you here. So, guys. Let's talk about the state of 360. Yes. Sure. You know, yeah. we are the three pros from Dover, so I mean, we can tell them everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was well timed. They, they laughed in the background as yeah. I said that. What was yeah. that all about? Yeah. Yeah. Did you put Evil in a laugh track? I, 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 I hired them to do that. You yeah. know, and you know, guys, I will just as an as an homage to Ben. At yeah. one point, I will turn this into a little planet and then Good. go back again. Okay. okay? Just because I want you to feel at home. It's a layoff. This is this all is right. king. I called him king of the okay. little planets. Thank you. All right, we'll there you go. Okay, so let's talk about uh, 360. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Cameras or software or let's cameras. Cameras. Okay. Cameras. okay. Cameras. What do you okay. guys like as the best prosumer camera? Well, I think all three of us agree. GoPro Fusion. GoPro Fusion. Uh, the one yes. we're, we're filming this on that's now. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, what do you love about it? Yes, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I mean, everything except the workflow, right? The quality is just so nice. Uh, photos and videos and now shoots raw. But for me, the, the thing that, that first amazed me about the Fusion is it was one of the first consumer cameras to legitimately look like HD when you look in any given direction. These three. Whoa. Dude. Sorry. That's all right. That was so, so, wrong, guys. The, the GoPro Fusion was legitimately one of the first cameras that looked like HD when looking in any yes. individual direction. Yes. And I hadn't seen that with a 360 camera before, and one of the most common complaints I get about 360 on my YouTube channel and elsewhere is, hey, this, this looks like 240p. Right. This 360 thing is just a fad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Whereas GoPro uh, Fusion now sets the bar for what 360 cameras will be yes. in the very near future. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Mick, yeah, what do you was, think? Uh, yes. Besides the exceptional detail, I also love the stabilization. Like not after they fixed it in twenty eighteen, because yes. originally it wasn't like that. And you know, um, yeah, it's just all around really good. I mean, I love the colors too. Even the I always leave it at the GoPro setting, and I mm -hmm. and and I try to like meddle with it sometimes, but I end up going looks, back to the original. It looks so it's just good, great as is to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like like a professional colorist like Ben, so. Maybe that's part of the issue, but you know, it, it depends on if me. I'm doing for myself. Yeah. Then I leave the GoPro color. If I'm doing for a client, I do output raw, okay. the flat, the flat profile, because then okay. I feel like I can work with it I, more. I couldn't beat the. I could. I tried, but I couldn't yeah. beat it. What so. I love about the new, uh, the newest version of the uh -huh. software yes. is, and I just talked to Alexander Jenny about this this morning. Uh -huh. They really set out to fix some things, and they really take it to heart. And what they wound up coming up with is that the new software is faster. At rendering out, stitching and rendering I out MP4. This, really? Yes. In yeah. fact, on my oh. machine, uh -huh. it went from. I've got a pretty beefy. It's an i59x uh, with a, a GTX 1080, and I went from eight frames per second up to 14 frames per second. Wow. Now, if you're doing if you're doing uh, Cineform or ProRes, it's no change. But what they did is everybody was saying oh, okay. it takes so long, and plus, what they did is they made it work better with lower end. Uh, PCs. Maybe that's why I didn't notice because I usually use the Cineform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you wouldn't see any difference see. in it. I get it. But you know? yeah, we were just talking about that the other day about the 4K versus 5.2K. Yeah. yeah, and I think we all can agree uh -huh. that the weak, there is a weak point, and there is mm -hmm. with every product that yeah. comes out, and the weak point is the mobile app. And I will tell oh, you, yes. it, that's uh, such that's a hard true. thing, but. Uh -huh. What do you think? How, what do you yeah, with it? I mean, I personally, it's 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 a bit of an annoyance, but I hardly ever rely on it. I mean, uh, uh, I use it without the app, and it it just works fine. And, and and we use the we have this GoPro Smart Remote that works really well, yeah. right? And I think that more than makes up for it. However, I would say with consumer and prosumer cameras. Mm -hmm. Why they've become popularized so fast is because of the fast workflow. You yes. do everything on your phone, you don't need a computer, and it seems like something so simple. I just want to be able to save my photos to my camera roll, and that's that's a big flaw because yeah. I like shooting and uploading my photos to Instagram within 60 seconds, and I can't do that with the Fusion, unfortunately. Which yeah. phone do you have, by the way? iPhone 10. I mean, yeah. no, actually, sorry, I take that back. I can I can edit, and they, they have an option to kind of screenshot the tiny panels yeah. in the GoPro app. Right. But I, I like taking it into other apps, and you yeah. can't do that. You can't save the equirectangular yeah. to, to your yeah. phone. 
and video it's got the free capture but it's it's quite limiting and, yeah. and phones are so sensitive the gyroscope yeah. just if you shake a little bit your yeah. video is ruined and you have to start That's again true. yeah so yeah. hopefully yeah. we see improvements soon. Mm -hmm. but you know what it is so difficult because like I have the Samsung S8 and I love it mm -hmm. um, you've got an S8 plus but uh -huh. you bought yours in America and I bought mine in Asia and it's two different phones oh, it's okay. two different chipsets yeah. so one of the obstacles that they're having to overcome is the fact that they're working with two different systems all together you know, so that's why the iPhone came out with everything faster. But one of the things that they're having the problem with iPhone is not because of the app; it's because of the permissions from Apple. They don't, you know, they're very difficult. They're not easy to work with, mm -hmm. as far as that goes. So that's why you're not able to save it to uh, uh, to the to the to the to the uh, uh, the camera the camera roll. roll. Oh, that's interesting. Which is kind of like you know, yeah, it is. But you yeah. know what? The bottom line for the consumer is. They want to be able to do it, just like you said. Yep, yep. You know that's totally valid. Yes. And mm -hmm. you know the good thing is is that we're seeing improvements. Uh, you know the, they're even coming out with improvements on the firmware more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so it's really great. I, yeah. I, yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. What about what's second place? 